What kind of intro is that? Holy fuck, that is um that is epic. <laughs> Whoa. Turn it down a notch, please. <laughs> okay, so Hello all the awesome people out there. My name is Akira and welcome to And welcome to this let's play of if I can get it here, the cat lady. <laughs> Holy crap, that intro took me by storm, so um, yeah, I have no idea what this game is about, and I have no idea of game mechanics or gameplay in it, so um, I got suggested by Stormbearer Proyan to play it, and yeah, this will be my next uh, big let's play for, my next big let's play, my let's play for the next couple of weeks. So um, let's jump into it, because I have no idea what it's about. My name is Susan Ashworth. Hi, hey, Susan. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. That explains the title. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Teacup? What kind of cat name is that? Oh. <laughs> because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Okay. Any second now. I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. What is it with me and playing games with dead people? Is the main thing. I've only got one thing to say now. Yeah? Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. So this was a song let's play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> goodbye. Game over. Let's see. Chapter 1. Oh, so this is a chapter game. Then Iron House in the Woods. If the chapters is not too long, I think I will probably take it one chapter at a time. Harvest Games presents. I like how they use the moon for the start of the age. That's actually kind of nice done. So, but I still don't know what kind of style of game this is. Except for creepiness. Okay, so I can use... Okay, at least it's not a point and click game, so... Boop 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 But graphic will pixelate it with wheel background thing. It's actually kind of nice. So... What is it? Press up to open the open interaction menu. Cycle through... Uh, Available options with and press enter to confirm. Okay. So, examine. I feel strangely down on this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock. Okay, so the door is locked. Okay, that changed a lot. <laughs> it got kind of creepy fast. So, 
This is a parking lot. I'm pretty sure of that. Holy crap. Momo, what is it for games we make and play here? So I can't hardly see. I think that's a bus. Uh. What the hell? What the fuck? Holy crap. <laughs> Don't do that to me, man. I hate jump scares. Not that I usually get scared by them, but still. Uh, what do we have here? Ambulance. Examine. I can't go any further. Okay. The ambulance is blocking uh, access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's no exit at all. Well, let's see what's inside. It's locked. What? What do I have to do then? Have I missed something? Uh, the only thing is there, so I am pretty. I didn't miss anything, right? That's it. I only had the two options. <sighs> yeah, open door, examine. I don't want to do any of those two things because it doesn't give me anything. Have I missed something? Am I what? Huh? What's making that noise? I don't want to know. Hello? Who's there? Answer me. <laughs> oh god. This is going to be the death of me. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Okay. So I can examine, turn head, open eyes, open mouth. I don't wait. Oh, I have a key inside my mouth. It's the key to a mouth. <laughs> in a mouth? I'll better take it with me. Oh, God. Um. Oh, press down to go to inventory. Not long ago, even a key would open my mouth. Okay. So, I am pretty sure that the key is for the house. But holy fuck, this game is creepy. Uh, I have nothing against horror games at all. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh Oh phew. I thought it landed on me. Well, no way back there then. Uh. I just want to go back to the house. Uh back to the colour. I, d I didn't see that at all. God dang it. Stupid deer. Okay. So I am pretty sure that. Oh, it's locked. Key. Use. And, um. Win! What the hell? There's definitely something here. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Uh, pull? I'm not strong enough to pull it, okay. The hose has been boarded up with planks. The sign underneath says emergency power switch danger, okay. Switch on. How strange, this doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. Why do you say switch on if it doesn't have any? How do you turn it on? Uh, too long. Uh, sacrifice can make a stone of this heart. Will it be take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'll bring a um, silly... Silly? Oh, 
Uh, this is just some old machine after all. Uh, maybe I should go where the deer went then. And hopefully... Oh, I actually like that the wind actually changes the direction of her hair. That is nice. So, where did the deer go? Okay, no more wind. <laughs> I don't like that music for some kind of reason. <laughs> But I really like the atmosphere of the game. It it has something to it. Okay. Uh, not what I expected. Uh, search. The body is too high. Uh, rope untie. It will take my hours to undo this nut. Ugh. Can I go in there at least? There does need to be a ball from the other side. God dang it. The rope is too tied into the nuts. Yeah, I know that. The dead body hangs from the tree. It should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait. What's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? I think that's the key for that room, but to get it down, I have to find something to untie. Yeah, uh, you can't read, so this would be... I can't remember this place. Am I lost? <laughs> God dang it! Really? Such a cheap jump scare. And <laughs> it still got me. Uh, what? What? Uh, examine. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on that farce. You share. Yeah, you're right about that, but. God dang it! Stuff that used to be crow. Okay, I think a crow maybe can help me here. If it doesn't take the life of me. No? Uh, I still can't get it down. I have a feeling that I should use the crow in some way or another because... My first plan was maybe there was a knife or something in... Stupid crow, stop that. Gonna be the death of me. Okay, so it flew off this way, so that's... That's good. Why... Won't you stay still? I don't know if I have to use the crow for anything. I have no idea what to do, oh god. Oh god, okay, okay new place. What is it with this game? I pull out the knife. Uh, let's see, this door. Unbolt. Wait, what? Well, that made it a lot easier. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, examine. It looked. It looked like I'm just sleeping. Uh, search pockets empty. Take key. It's a large rusty key. I think that's maybe for uh, the gate. So I hope I can get to the gate by going this way. 
Uh, please no more stupid jump scares. Uh. Nope. Um. Use. Uh. Okay, the pig had disappeared. Oh, oh, it's on the gate. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. Uh. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Luxus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? A deaf a old lady who lives in the woods. Are you God? Are you the devil? Okay, I don't think she's just an old lady who lives in the house. I think she's Death. dead. Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom. But I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. <laughs> so I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? Uh, what is the place? What will happen next? What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. Okay. Happy fun times! Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. A lonely seashore. We can talk properly, my dear. We can? I still don't really know um, who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there anything... Is there anyone else here? I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me, but there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone? I guess that's me. Would I be punished for taking my own life? Oh, that's the other two. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. Yay. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Thank you. Who knows? I could be your only friend. 
the only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I am going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Uh, is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? Hi. <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. She's creepy. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. She's stalking me. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. Yeah. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Off we go. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you, only in a slightly different way. Uh. Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You'll find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me. And we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Okay. Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan. I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer, and those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. 
Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And a chance to save yourself. Fantastic. Okay, can I just... I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Thank you. What is Immortality. Uh, and I you did. cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Okay, this all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe that. You're blackmailing me. Blackmail? You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. Dang it. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Hey. Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Okay. I, I don't like it though, but I, I will follow you. <laughs> yes. It's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going Long after you count. Uh, crucified all alone in a place that changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Uh, maybe I can use the Crowbar. Susan, it's time to make a decision. Yeah. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Uh. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I 
don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! King. You have no idea what you have just done! But fine, have it your way. Thank you! In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. Um, something <laughs> when we meet again you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance I don't really believe in second chances so I might have to disappoint you again look this is all just a bad dream I want to wake up I'm back nope. in the house Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Uh, blow out. What the fuck? They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. <laughs> what the hell? So I think those are the five people I have to find, uh, get done something with. Uh, okay, but this episode is actually taking longer than I thought, so I thought I could do a, ch a chapter every episode, but I seem I can't do that because time. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I will end this here because, oh, I've go way over time. And I will hate myself if I find out the next episode that I just have to walk out the door and this episode 2 will start. Uh, chapter 2 will start. But hey, that's how it is. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time. Farewell.